Hi, I'm Lisa Genova. I'm the author of Still Alice. Lisa Genova is the award-winning author of the 2007 novel Still Alice, on which the film Still Alice was based. Julianne Moore's portrayal of 50-year-old Alzheimer victim Alice Howland earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. Neuroscientist Genova was touched personally by Alzheimer's when her grandmother was diagnosed with the disease. We caught up with Genova before she spoke at the Unique Lives Lecture Series in Madison. Yeah, there's never a telltale symptom, and you know, we unfortunately don't have a simple blood test right now that can reveal whether you have it or not. It's not like cardiovascular disease where you can get these indicators of high cholesterol or high blood pressure and, and have a sort of a, um, simple biomarker yet. Um, yet the symptoms tend to be sort of slightly out of the ordinary. So it's not just you've forgotten your keys and then you find them in a coat pocket or they're on the table. You for <clears throat> excuse, me, excuse me, you've forgotten your keys and they're in the refrigerator. Or you've forgotten your keys and you hold them for a moment and you think, what are these for? Um, so it's slightly different than uh, typical forgetting. It's not, oh, what's his name? And then maybe an hour later it comes. Or what's his name? And, and you think, well, it begins with a B. It's one syllable. His wife's name is Anne. Like you have some clues. With Alzheimer's, it usually just drops out. There's no clue, and it doesn't come to you later. If you have a loved one with Alzheimer's, there's, it's, it's a lot to take on. Um, everybody goes through the stages of grief, and not all at the same time. So there will be denial and anger and bargaining and despair and ultimately, hopefully, acceptance. And the idea of you know, this person that you love, you are more than what you can remember. So yes, there's going to be forgetting and there's going to be mistakes and, and language and, and cognition, and yet the connection that you have with that person, Alzheimer's doesn't exclude or shouldn't exclude a person from community. It shouldn't exclude you from the right to matter and be loved. That can all stay. And so I, the recommendation I have is to learn what, as much as you can, get support if you're the caregiver, and um, stay connected. <music> Support for Next Avenue Moments is provided by the Helen Daniels Bader Fund, a Bader philanthropy.